Hey everyone, Brian Matias here. Uh, I wanted to put together this video that it kind of is a result of a friend of mine, let's call her Jess, um, having some serious confusion about how to use third-party keyboards. Now, this all came to be because this morning Google released their new Gboard keyboard. This is uh, something that I've been kind of really excited about for a long time. And just to give you an idea of how things work just off the bat, um, let me show you. So I'm going to go into Apple Notes. And when you start typing, this is, you can see the regular keyboard. This is the Apple keyboard. Now, if you have any third-party apps, you can switch them one of two ways. You can either just tap on the little globe icon that uh, appears next to the space bar to the left, or you can press and hold and just switch to any of your keyboards. So right now I have um, the stock English keyboard that comes with um, my iPhone. I've got the GIF keyboard by GIF keyboard and Apple's emoji keyboard, which is also stock. Um, and so that's that. Now, uh, if we wanna go ahead and download the Google keyboard, just go to the app store here and you can search for Gboard, oops. There we go, and there it is. So I'm gonna hit the, I already downloaded this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download it again just to walk you through the process. So with my blazing fast uh, Wi-Fi connection, we're just gonna sit here and wait for uh, this to download and install, and I'm actually gonna go to my updates. Oh, and there's an update to Sync Me, which is an app I like. Uh, all right, so this is basically done installing, and if you, once you get it, just launch the app and it's gonna walk you through the process of um, setting it up. So I'll hit get started and it says here, okay, tap add new keyboard, Gboard, Gboard, full access. So get started, which will launch you into the, um, set, the system preferences app right into the keyboards module, which I think is a nice little touch. Here are those three um, keyboards that I showed you before. Now I'm gonna hit add new keyboard and right here is Gboard. So, oops, so I'm gonna click on it to add it. And here is, you'll see it's listed at the bottom over here. Now, this is important. You have to go into it again and allow full access. By default, that'll be off. Now, um, if you go back into the app, which is important, um, what you'll do is you'll, it'll show you here to switch to Gboard. Again, it's kind of training you. So I'm gonna press and hold and there's Gboard. And it finishes the initial setup. Now, here's where I think it's also important because you now have some settings. So under the keyboard settings, uh, the one that I definitely recommend turning off is block offensive words uh, because I like to curse when I type and everything else I keep on. Um, notice also the, at the bottom here, this period shortcut. Um, that's a great one. I'll show you that in a second. And then under search settings, uh, I have predictive search on. I also have contact search on. It's going to ask you if uh, to get access to your contacts. And then I'm also going to turn on uh, location access. So um, when I'm searching using the keyboard, um, it'll actually use my geolocation to find things. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do here. So if I go back to the notes app, um, here is the Google keyboard and just show you here. So let's say you're on the Apple keyboard, which probably you will be when you first go into an app. So you'll press and hold and go to Gboard and here's your keyboard. And so this is typing with Google's keyboard. Cool. And that little period shortcut that I was telling about, this is one of my favorite features from Android. Um, when you press and hold the period, and it's a really short response time, only like maybe 100 milliseconds, you get access to some of the most common punctuations. So I think that's brilliant. Um, you still have access to, um, you know, iOS's emojis, um, albeit in a slightly different format, but you also have access to GIFs and a variety of other things. I mean, you can do a basic search for anything in Google and paste it right away. Now, here's the what inspired the video from Jess. Just didn't realize after she installed it that she was still using this iOS keyboard. And I guess that's totally fair. So 
I've used the keyboard already for a couple hours, enough, long enough that I don't want to use Apple's keyboard anymore. I always hated Apple's keyboard. Um, also, you know, let's not forget that Apple or the Google keyboard has, you know, swipe. So that's cool. So if you want to just use the Google keyboard and get rid of uh, the Apple keyboard, just head over to the, the settings app right over there and hit edit on the top right. And this, gonna, this is going to expose the kind of moving and delete uh, intent system that iOS has. So here's English at the top. I'm going to select it and then delete it. So you can always re-add this. Um, and then I'm going to take Gboard and I'm going to move it to the top. And then I'll have GIF keyboard and emoji. And basically, this order determines as you press that globe icon, the switching order of uh, the keyboards. So now, if I go to, you know... Wonderlist, and I create, say, I'll go to groceries and I'll add a new um, item. You can see that the G board is now the default keyboard. And if I press and hold here and go to keyboard settings, I can switch through my keyboards. So that's kind of a quick and dirty uh, walkthrough of how you can essentially get rid of Apple's, in my opinion, subpar keyboard and um, use another, this will work with any third-party keyboard, not just Gboard, it'll work with Microsoft's keyboard and yada yada. Um, now, just to kind of close the loop on this, uh, if I go to settings, let's say you want to, you know, you miss Apple's keyboard, um, to add it back, just go into the keyboards, and I should show you this, I should have showed this to you earlier. So, this is the, the core settings, like the root settings, then you'd go into general, you'd scroll down to keyboard, and this is where we were under keyboards. Now here you can hit add new keyboard and then suggest a keyboard as English. And of course, if you have a different uh, language, you know, whatever your default language is when you set up your iPhone, that'll be there. So there's English right here. Um, and I'm going to get rid of it again because I don't want it. And there you go. So I hope this video helps you out. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time.